Hi, this is Dr. Culver from the clinic at Uinta Basin Medical Center. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about your mental health and emotional well-being during our COVID-19 pandemic. First, it's important for us to recognize that what we're experiencing right now is unprecedented. We've never been through anything like this in our lifetime. And so we're all figuring this out as we go and as we learn more information about this virus. It's normal for us to experience signs and symptoms of mourning. Um, it's normal for us to experience anxiety and depression, irritability, frustration, worry, concern with all the unknowns out there, and, and also depression. Graduations have been canceled, wedding plans changed, and some of us are also experiencing questions of unemployment. And we're also making major life adjustments when it comes to working from home or taking care of our kids, homeschooling our kids. And this adds a lot of additional stress. Today, I would like to just give you a few tips and reminders that might be able to help you through this time. Please remember that these tips are general and they're not intended to treat any mental illness or any underlying medical concern. If you have any questions, please speak with your provider. First, it's, it may be helpful for you to go back to the basics. When we're feeling anxious or worried or, or irritable or frustrated, our sympathetic nervous system is revving us up. It's important for us to ground ourselves into the present moment. And a few techniques can be very helpful. First, stop, take a breath. Sounds simple, and it is. It's harder to do during times of stress. But stop, take a breath, breathe in through your nose, and then breathe out through your mouth. Breathe in through your nose, comfortably till your lungs are full, and then breathe out through your mouth. Do that about four or five times. And as you're breathing out, I want you to tell yourself, I'm fine, I'm safe, and I'm calming down. Now, it's also important to have realistic expectations of this. This isn't intended to take away all of your anxiety. It won't do that. You'll be more frustrated when it doesn't work. Instead, just remind yourself, we're trying to bring your anxiety level down to a more manageable and tolerable state. Second, don't bite off more than you can chew. You may feel the urgency and the need to fix everything at once. You can't, you won't be able to do that. Uh, instead, you can fix one thing at a time. So start your morning by making a list. Take 15 minutes and make a list of all the things that you have to get done and prioritize them from most important to least important. It's important for us to also not have too high of expectations of ourselves. So go through the list one by one and at the end of the day, reflect back on the day and give yourself credit for for what you have accomplished. Give credit where credit is due. Don't hyper-focus on all the things you didn't get done. That will do nothing but lower your motivation. Take a second, remind yourself that you're trying and that you'll be able to do more the next day. This will keep your motivation up as we're trying to take on more and more challenges over the next few weeks. Third, it's important to keep a routine and a schedule going, especially for your sleep. Your sleep-wake cycle is very important for your physical and emotional well-being. Uh, exercise as often as you can according to your doctor's recommendations. If you have limitations, check in with your doctor or your physician and see what, what exercises they recommend. So fourth, be sure that while we're socially distancing, we're also checking in with friends and family. We can do that through telephone, through text message, through video conference. Um, Text your neighbors, reach out to them if you can. Keep that six feet distance if you're able to. Um, we still need to make sure that we're a close community and that we're there for each other. It's very important to have uh, this foundational support during times of crisis and, and hardship. Also remember that we all respond to stress differently. Give room for that. Recognize that we're all stressed out and we're trying the best that we can. Be patient, be forgiving, and lend a hand. Lastly, if you or a loved one are in need of professional services or to meet with a provider, please reach out to our office. We've recently launched telehealth services to help meet with you in the privacy and the safety of your own home. Uh, we do prefer that we meet with you this way at this time to help reduce the potential spread of the virus. Uh, if the, your provider or the nurse suggests that you need to come in, then we'll make accommodations at that time. Um, thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, we're very grateful to be here to help you during this difficult time. 
Um, please remember to watch out for your neighbors, take care of each other, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay sane.